Hi guys, it's Mark from Burton Bibles and welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to be able to bring another Bible review uh, to you today. Um, but first, a little bit of background. Uh, a few months ago, perhaps November or December, uh, I announced on the channel that uh, Trinitarian Bible Society were no longer uh, printing and publishing the their family present presentation Bible, which was basically their version of the Cambridge uh, large print a text only Bible. This is a Bible that I've long been a fan of. Um, it really is a beautiful Bible for reading. Um, you can see there that it offers a really clear uh, King James text um, and this one is bound in French Morocco leather. The Trinitarian version, the, pres the family presentation Bible, was bound in a black calfskin I believe. But uh, what they did tell me those few months ago was that they were basically going to be replacing it with a large print version of their Windsor Bible. Now, the Windsor Bible is also another Bible um, that I'm a big, big fan of. Really like the font um, and layout in this Bible. Um, all of these are available on the Burton Bibles website, of course. And now we have the large print Windsor Bible, which is their replacement for the Family Presentation Bible to take a good look at. So today we're going to get down to the desk and we're going to have a look at this Bible and uh, do some comparisons and see what this Bible offers and why you might like it. Some of the things I like about it, and I do like it a lot, spoiler alert, um, and also some minor uh, quibbles as well. So let's go down to the desk and take a good look. So then guys, welcome one and welcome all. Uh, this is our review of the Trinitarian Bible Society, what they're now calling the Family Bible, which is a, basically a large print uh, Windsor Bible. You can see from this uh, attractive clamshell box, um, the titling uh, there. Um, now, this is one that I've been looking forward to reviewing because I am, as I've said already, a big fan of text-only Bibles, and in particular, a big fan of uh, large print Bibles. I've long um, championed the cause of the the large print uh, Cambridge text only Bible, um, of which this was uh, effectively printed under licence by Trinitarian Bible Society as their family presentation Bible. It is a wonderful um, King James uh, text only layout. It is the Cameo uh, text um, layout, which you'll see from um, the details there. So uh, this large print Windsor has a lot to live up to because I'm such a big fan of the large print text Bible. So let's uh, take a look at uh, this Bible. It comes in this really nice purple um, box. It's got a table of the details in comparison uh, to the other Bibles in the Windsor range. Um, so that is interesting. Um, we do have page size here, so if you do want to um, put uh, the video on pause and, and take any notes, feel free to, because as per usual, I probably won't be able to find my my ruler. Um, there is a uh, ISBN code here as well. Uh, this Bible is on the Burton Bibles website. Just simply search for Windsor Bible, and there's a drop-down box to choose the standard Windsor, um, of which I have one here. Uh, and the large print Windsor. So without further ado, let's un unbox this. There we go, that should do it. So here we have the large print Windsor. It's bound in this uh, flat but not unattractive um, calfskin leather. You'll be able to see some um, grain uh, on there. Um, fans of TBS Bibles will recognise this leather, I am sure, uh, from the Westminster uh, Bibles. It's the same used on there. However, it is different from the calfskin that is found on the normal size uh, Windsor Bible, which I find interesting. Um, in, in short, this may be... I'm, I'm not too sure why this is. All I know is that um, we'll come to the details of the printing uh, in a moment. But they may be standardising across the range, so who knows, this may become like this uh, in the future. But uh, let's look and concentrate on the large print um, Windsor for the time being. Now, I really like the dimensions of this Bible. It's got a sort of a squarish profile. It's got like a nice wide page there, which I always like. And it's not overly thick. It's it's over an inch, but um, not too much over an inch. Uh, we're looking at about 28 millimetres on the thickness, on the spine thickness there, um, which I quite like. It feels slim um, and... I like the dimensions of this Bible. It's not overly 
uh, overly large um, and uh, and I think that uh, bears out when you hold it in the hand. It lies wonderfully flat as well. Um, now these are just tooled markings in on the cover. Not much um, fanciness about it, but I tell you what I do like is this art gilt page edging. It's almost got like a purpley uh, lilt to it. It's not red under gold. It's more like some sort of pink or um, almost purpley. I don't know the name of all the colours you know, but um, you, you can maybe catch it in the light there. It's really, really nice and, and attractive. It does come with two black ribbons. Don't worry, yours won't look like this. Um, we got a kitten recently and it decided it really liked Bible ribbons. Um, unlike me, I'm not a big fan of Bible ribbons. And so these got chewed up. The ribbons are not anything to write home about for all the ribbon fans out there. It has some nice head and tail bands. Uh, though, and again, that is from the, the cat, so don't worry about that. Um, so let's have a look at this uh, Bible. It's a standard vinyl paste down uh, liner, as you'd expect, I guess, with a uh, a Trinitarian Windsor Bible. It has some nice um, plain card sheets, though, and it has your usual uh, records um, in the first few pages. And then as we get into the um, interesting points of the Bible, we'll see that this edition is printed and bound in Belarus by our friends Print Corp. Um, now that name will be familiar to a lot of you I'm sure. Um, they uh, do a number of editions for the Trinitarian Bible Society already. Uh, some of their, their lesser uh, lower entry uh, price point Bibles uh, they print and, and bind them there. And also let's not forget the Cambridge uh, Personal Concord is printed and bound uh, by Print Corp as well in Belarus. So this is a fairly well-known um, well publisher. They also do the large print, the large print Westminster. Um, now, quality is sometimes a little bit less with uh, Print Corp, we'll admit that. But I have to say, while we're on the subject of Print Corp, I think this is probably their best Bible that they, that they do. Um, we'll, as we get through the review, we'll see that. But um, I actually think this is better than anything else that I've seen uh, from uh, Print Corp. Now, the Cambridge large print text uh, is done by uh, Lego, I believe, uh, in Italy. Uh, yes, we'll see there. So maybe that's that's the, the comparison there. Um, the Lego printing and binding I find wonderful. Um, Belarus, the Print Corp is, mm, it can be a bit um, hit and miss, but this edition in particular is absolutely fantastic. Now we do get the epistle um, a dedicatory, um, which is nice to see, and contents, and then we're straight into the Bible, and this is the familiar, now I would have thought, layout that we see for the Windsor Bible, and it looks really, really nice, stunning in fact, and I think we can just make out that, that colouring that, uh, that I mentioned, it really is fascinating, really attractive, something a bit different, um, and I really quite like it. The layout is double column, there's no references. Um, we do have um, running headers across the top of the page, which I really like. I, I love Bibles with those running headers. Makes it so easy just to quickly see what is on each page um, in, broad, in broad terms. So if you're looking for a miracle or a parable or an event, um, chances are it will be up here so you can quickly navigate around your Bible. Like the large bold chapter dividers there it doesn't um, space the the chapter headings down so sometimes that is a little difficult um, you know you've only got really one line break between the chapters but um, it's not uh, it's by no means a problem um, for me anyway and you do get these uh, nice markers which kind of distinguish paragraphs for you so that's good to see as well and as we turn the pages of this uh, bible you'll notice that this book block is sitting wonderfully flat which I really appreciate this bible isn't edge lined and between you and me I am I am coming to the conclusion that I think I prefer non edge lined bibles I like vinyl paste downs I don't know why well I do know why I think it I think it feels better in the hand it collapses uh, better it lies flat better and when we get into the middle of the bible where these two um, sections of, of block is starting to mound up in the middle it's still lying wonderfully flat and this gutter is is visible uh, the text isn't 
isn't falling away into it so we can't read it. And that's all because this spine is, is sitting really flat on the desk and I'm really, really enjoying um, vinyl paste down Bibles. I mean, even though it is a vinyl paste down, I think you'll get many, many years of use after this. And if you're anything like me, if it does start to go, you'll either choose to get it rebound or you'll get another one. <laughs> um, and you'll get many, many years out of that one as well. And um, to be honest, my Cambridge, uh, my favourite Bible of all time, my Cambridge Cameo Wide Margin, the paste down liner has only just in the last uh, few years gone on that. And that's after 20 years of um, serious uh, use, daily use um, with that edition. Now it is a black letter Bible. So there's no red letter here. Fans of uh, black letter Bibles, this is a fantastic choice for you. Um, but now let's get into some of the comparisons. Um, but before we do, we should perhaps just mention that in the back, there is a, um, a list of words and proper names, and I think there is a dictionary as well. There is a word list uh, that TBS uh, call it. Word list, and you've got, I think it's eight um, Bible maps, which is uh, nice to see. And these are really nice. They're done on matte cardstock, and I really like the Trinitarian maps. Um, I like the Cambridge maps, but I like these as well. And they're on this matte cardstock, which is really uh, quite nice. So that's a little bit about what we're getting here. It's fantastically clear. Uh, it's a, an 11 point, uh, I think it's an 11.8 size font. Now that is a bone of contention with some people. Some people think that this reads a lot smaller. And I, I am inclined to agree. It, um, it isn't a bold font uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but um, it reads perhaps more like a, a 10 point font. Um, or a ten and a half point font perhaps. So just be aware of that. 11.8 sounds really big, but it doesn't read uh, big at all. And this is, at the end of the day, quite a slimline Bible, which I, uh, which I really like. So let's do some comparisons then. Let's first of all compare it to its, uh, its Cambridge um, brethren, if you like. Um, so this is the large print text Bible from Cambridge. Um, which was the sort of precursor to this large print Windsor. And there's just a bit of a, a side by side comparison. Let's get the same, um, the same passage up perhaps. Um, you'll notice that the, the Cambridge text Bible is bolder. Um, let's face it, the comparison is there for us to see. It is bolder. There's a, a little bit of ghosting on here. I think this is the paper choice perhaps um, from the Print Corp uh, edition. But I will say this, I really like the paper in this Bible. It feels nice. Um, I just don't know how to describe it. Um, it's not overly thin. Um, it feels good in the hands. Um, a little bit of page curl at, at the top perhaps, but it feels really nice. And I've only just been using this a day or two. So bear that in mind as the pages separate and as we use the Bible more, um, this book block will really relax a little bit. So really like the paper in here. The opacity is pretty good as you can see. Um, the camera accentuates and exaggerates that, but it's not too bad at all. In the Cambridge, again, there is a little bit of ghosting. The, the difference being is that this is line match, this isn't. So just bear in mind that that is the case. And as far as the text goes, this is a 10 point font, this is 11.8. So again, you can see, I think, from that, that um, the 11.8 definitely reads a lot smaller and is perhaps more akin to a 10 point font as we see um, in this Cambridge text edition. Um, so you'll see the running headers are the same in both Bibles. And again, the chapter, there is only perhaps a single line break, but it does offset. It does put the chapter header on a different line to the text below, unlike the, the Windsor, which goes for a more modern uh, sort of style. Um, in terms of dimensions, let's just uh, take a look. There we go. So you'll see that both Bibles are a similar height. Um, so they have a similar footprint. The large print is ever so slightly bigger, but it is slightly slimmer, which is nice and good to see. Um, so that is the comparison between these two. Personally, I, I love both. If you're a fan, perhaps, of more a traditional look, I think you're going to like this. If you're a fan of the modern style, you might um, want to go for that. Let's just look at how this compares to 
um, the standard size Westminster, uh, sorry, the standard size Windsor Bible. There is a comparison. They are very similar in terms of thickness. Perhaps the standard is a bit slimmer. In fact, it is a bit slimmer. I bet that's more like an inch and this is more like 28 millimetres. Um, and it is considerably smaller. So we, we can see the physical difference. The Windsor really is just about hand sized. Um, but let's have a look at the text inside. There is the standard size. And let's go to the Psalms as well. Let's go to Psalms 1. And that is the large print next to it. So I think you'll see there's a big difference, big difference in the uh, font size. The standard size is a 9.6 font. There you go. So you can see that the pagination um, and everything adds up. It's 590 and 590. Uh, and that is how it looks in the large print. Let's put these on top of each other as well, just for a bit of a, a text comparison. There you go. Obviously, the, um, well, maybe not obviously, but the standard size Windsor is printed and bound in Netherlands by Royal Youngblood. This is done by Print Corp, as we've said. There's a comparison of the, the gilt edging there. Very attractive in this large print Westminster. Um, this paper is undoubtedly a nicer quality, I think. Um, it's got a more yellowy um, tinge to it uh, compared to this white. But you can see that the ghosting is very similar. And that's the text comparison. So perhaps if this is a little small for your eyes, the 9.6 again does read a bit smaller. It reads perhaps more like an 8 point font, perhaps. Um, Perhaps you will appreciate the bigger size and the bigger font of this large print. I love both of these Bibles. I have to say the, Win the Windsor and the Westminster from TBS are absolutely fantastic, um, fantastic Bibles, especially when you think of the money. Um, this Windsor is, uh, is on the Burton Bibles website for uh, blah, 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 blah. the standard is about £40. The uh, the large print is more like £60. I mean, that's a fantastic Bible for £60, I think. I've really enjoyed reading this in my daily readings. It's such a nice, relaxing read. Absolutely love it. Sits beautifully in the hand there. You can do some Bible yoga with it as well if you want. This cover, this calf skin is perfectly fine to me. Feels really nice and smooth. Um, and yeah, really, really like um, this large print Westminster. I think... TBS have done the right thing um, in making a large print version of their Windsor. Uh, I think they are now less reliant on older Cambridge and Oxford texts. Um, they used to print the Ruby, they used to print the print the Pitt Minion, the Brevier. Um, they used to do a number of um, uh, of other printer, uh, printings from other um, other publishing houses, but I think these Windsors and Westminsters are really absolutely fantastic and at a great price point for you as well so i hope that that little review of the uh, trinitarian bible society's large print windsor was interesting to you uh, please do give us a like um do comment i'll uh, i'll answer you uh, as time allows and subscribe to the channel and do try and um, spread the news about burton bibles we love to hear from people and love to see new followers so take care god bless and we'll catch up on another video soon Bye bye